one of the greatest serial stories of the war, the battering of Hamburg. By night and day, the big German city was subjected to Allied air assaults without parallel in history. As each of the British night attacks was made, an army of between five and 6,000 RAF flyers were in the air over Hamburg within an hour. With ground crews, that means around 100,000 men engaged in each night's offensive. In almost less time than it takes to tell, the cargoes of our bombers shattered military objectives in the city and started hundreds of fires. The second installment of our serial story takes us again on the way to Hamburg in daylight, this time with the United States Army Air Force. In these attacks, some 4,000 American flying men, including fighter escorts, went into action. Over the target, the Americans found an enormous amount of smoke rising from the fires caused in the RAF night raid a few hours earlier. However, they went in and proved that there are certain kinds of hamburgers they don't like. Naturally, the powers that be wanted proof positive of the effectiveness of this almost non-stop series of raids. So photographers secured pictures of Hamburg after the earlier Allied visits. Close study of these stills shows that up to that time, much damage of military importance was done. Objectives identified as having been thoroughly blitzed in this Germany's second largest city and biggest port include the huge gas works, the Blomenfoss submarine slips, port installations, shipping, shipbuilding yards, marshalling yards, locomotive sheds and hundreds of factories. The havoc in the docks and on the railways is very obvious. Altogether, it is estimated that in the whole series of raids, no less than seven square miles of Hamburg were laid in ruins. This includes the area which produces, or rather produced, one-third of the German U-boats in service. This was a locomotive shed, a busy place in pre-Blitz days, but most of these structures are now about as much use to the Nazis as last Sunday's newspapers. Later installments of our serial take us again and again with mighty air armadas of the RAF by night over Hamburg, where defences made desperate efforts to ward off the terror raining down from the skies. Down there is a pyrotechnic display, the like of which has never before been seen. Goering visited the devastated city of Hamburg and declared that it would be avenged. He, of course, is the man who once declared that British planes would never fly over Germany. In one week, the total tonnage of bombs dropped on Germany, particularly Hamburg, by aircraft operating from Britain exceeded 12,000 tons, which just goes to show that Goering is a bad prophet. Neutral sources report that in eight heavy Allied raids on Hamburg, more than 58,000 people lost their lives and 180,000 lost their jobs. That's nearly a quarter of a million German war workers less than a week ago. A brilliant tribute to Allied Knights of the Air.